If you're into retro game collecting like I am, you've probably heard of a website called Sendico. And if you haven't, Sendico is a third-party proxy site that allows people outside of Japan to buy things from websites that require a Japanese address to ship to. So if you're in America like me, you can buy a Game Boy off of Yahoo Auctions or Mercari, and Sendico will ship it to you for a fee. Or rather, a lot of fees. YouTubers like Austin Evans and the Retro Future love to buy a bunch of cool stuff and unbox it for videos, but they don't always break it all down or show the entire experience. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about every step of the process, weigh the pros and cons, break down all of the fees, air out all of my grievances, and tell you whether or not I think it's actually worth it. This is quite the deep dive, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Step one is to find the things I want to buy and, well, buy them. The goal for me is to find a couple complete in-box games, a limited edition console exclusive to Japan, a couple of junk items, and maybe a Virtual Boy, if I can swing it. I couldn't swing it. Let's open up Sendico and get started. This is the homepage of Sendico right here. I'm not logged in. I don't even think I have an account yet. I'll set that up later. Let's get to the fun part, but here are your four shops. I'm going to stick with Mercari for right now. I don't like auctions. I'm not an, a bidding kind of person. We're just going to be going for buy it now stuff, which is on Mercari. We're just going to go Game Boy just, just to see what comes up with Game Boy. So off the bat, we've got a burnt polarizer green Game Boy pocket for $23. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Add 500 yen for their fee on top of that. It's still going to be under $30. Inland shipping is included on this one, so you won't have to pay for shipping from the seller to Sendico. Some of them don't include shipping, so that will be another fee on top of it. That's not terrible. So these don't have burnt polarizers, but we're getting 40, 30, and 50 are the first three listings on eBay in the US. So one of them's at about the same price. <laughs> Guess it depends on how broken it is. Pre-fees, you're saving a bit. Post-fees, not really. But that was just one listing. All right, that's one listing. Holy crap. That's that's a sale? $1,500. That's not yen. 1% off. That's the sale. Pikachu Game Boy Micro. Is this a special edition or something? Down here, they've got the description from the listing. You, I guess you got to translate it yourself. I kept it at home for a long time. Game Boy Micro Pokemon Center. Okay. So this is one of a thousand units. I've never seen this before. There's some damage or staining. Okay. So it's just, it's dirty. I don't know if that is actually worth it, but holy crap. Let's just look up Game Boy Color. We've got one for 46 bucks here. It is working. There's some scratches, pretty normal, but a working Game Boy Color. I don't know why they blurred the serial number. That's funny. Yeah, I think that's a steal. We're talking 50 bucks. Shipping is included. So once you, I, I guess the tough part is not knowing the shipping from Japan to here. But for a fully working Game Boy, Dandelion Yellow for $78. We got one for $60 here. Okay, this is more realistic. Plus five. So we're talking $65 for a comparable one versus about 50 pre-Japan shipping. If you're buying a bunch of other stuff with it in that shipping from Japan to here, it's probably not a bad deal. But if you're only looking for one item, I don't think it's worth it. Like it, the, it kind of is a good deal, but I don't know how much you're saving really. But this does look like a pretty solid Game Boy Color here. While finding a good deal is very important, this part isn't Sendico's fault. They aren't the ones selling the items. They're just here to help you buy it. Once you buy an item, it goes to their warehouse. They'll open it up and make sure it matches the listing. They aren't experts on everything, so they're not going to authenticate anything, but they will make sure that you aren't just getting a pile of rocks. Then they can hold it for up to 180 days in case you want to buy more things to combine for cheaper shipping and then repack everything and send it to you. So essentially, they're a proxy service and a shipping service. The reason why you'd want to use a service like Sendico is to hopefully get a better deal than you could locally, nationally, or even on another site like eBay. 
because you still can buy from Japan on eBay, but the listings on Sendico are exclusive to those with a Japanese address. Even though I'm personally not looking for basic Game Boys through this, I wanted to show that off in this video because I know a lot of you watching are gonna wanna mod Game Boys and buy them through the service potentially. I'm sure you can get lucky and find a good deal, but I feel like it's not gonna be that much better than anywhere else. But for the most part, there's a lot of cheaper stuff in Japan. It just varies on how much cheaper. There are some other advantages to buying from Japan though. As long as you aren't buying from a smoker, Japanese stuff is usually kept in way better condition. And some people over there will even keep some of their boxes, unlike most of us in the States. So not only could you be getting things in better condition, you could also be getting them complete in box for way cheaper. Just keep in mind that not every console is region free and not every game allows you to change the language. All right, so a loose copy of Metroid Zero Mission in Japanese. Before shipping to the US, it's gonna cost you about $40. If you want to get Zero Mission in the US, hoping that these are real, I'm going to assume that these are real. We got 54, 70, 55, 80. They either got luck here that's fake. 70, I'm gonna say 70 is average. That is clearly not real. A good deal would be 60. And we're looking at 40 before having to ship it to here. At minimum, you're probably paying $15 to ship from Japan to my area of the US. So wildly varies depending on where you live. You can even get this boxed for 75. A little damage on the corners, but hey, comes with the manual and the box and the game for 75. That's not bad, dude. That's not bad at all. 55 right there. Boom. That's better than some of the loose copies. I'm, I might buy this one. <laughs> I think I'm gonna buy it. There's one special edition Game Boy that I've wanted for a while, and it is the Hello Kitty Game Boy Pocket. It is something I genuinely want. Not the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy Pocket. The Game Boy Color one is just not as good. Look at that condition, dude. That is spick and span. It's not new because they've opened it. Oh, I want this one. That's so much money though. This one comes with the box and everything. It comes with everything. I don't know why. I'm not a Hello Kitty fan. I, ju I just have a shirt, okay? And I like this Game Boy. It just looks nice. I stuck with Mercari throughout the majority of this process because I couldn't find things that I wanted on Rakuten or Yahoo Shopping. I've never looked at Rakuten before. Here in the US, that's just, Rakuten is just like a coupon service or a cashback service. Okay, so I put in Game Boy Color. This is what comes up, okay. Maybe Rakuten is not the best for this because not a single Game Boy Color is popping up. Is that a Joey? There we go. Oh, no. Okay, we're going to step away from Rakuten. Yahoo Shopping. Don't buy that. Don't buy this. Oh, God. Okay, let's stick with Mercari then because I've lost all faith in Yahoo Shopping and Rakuten. And like I said earlier, I'm not a fan of bidding. I'll, I'll peek at Yahoo Auctions real quick. Just a quick little peek. So the current price is $28.56. You can buy it now for $40. You can buy four DMGs in a Game Boy Color for 102 is the current bid. Oh, that's the starting bid. That's the problem with me like looking at auctions. I can say, wow, that's a great price for this game or this Game Boy. But that's not going to be the ending price unless it does have a buy it a buyout price, not a buy it now, it's a buyout. Yeah, like, it's just hard for me to gauge what's good and bad about the auctions without actually completing an auction. We'll see. If I can't find what I want on Mercari, then I'll, I'll poke around Yahoo Auctions towards the end. We're gonna go back to Mercari here and apparently buy food. I did not end up bidding on any auctions. Another pro to buying from Japan is some will label things as junk, even if it's just a cosmetic issue. It does make it a lot more of a gamble because it could be perfectly fine or way beyond repair. And sometimes they just label it as junk because they don't have the ability to test it anymore. Because of that, I ended up buying a couple junk consoles and some games, and hopefully we'll be able to fix those in some videos on the second channel. Yes, I have a second channel now. I don't know what the name is yet. <laughs> Link down below. And I bought one of those consoles specifically because one, it was 200 yen, and two, because this listing didn't include inland shipping. Inland shipping is the most frustrating thing I experienced while using Sendico. I'm gonna rant about this for a minute. 
if you want to buy something that doesn't include inland shipping in the listing's price, you just have to agree and they will take the money out later when the shipping is calculated. No estimated shipping cost. You just have to hope that you aren't getting screwed over on shipping from the seller to the warehouse. Most of the listings I encountered do include inland shipping, but there are still some that don't include it, and I would honestly just avoid them unless it's like a stellar price. But even then, this one was, and I got screwed over. More on that later. All of these were purchased on Mercari. And I know on the US version of Mercari, you have to put the weight and dimensions in when you make the listing. So Mercari can tell the customer exactly how much shipping will cost. And you have to put your shipping address on your account so they can calculate the number exactly. Unless Mercari in Japan is completely different, which I will admit is totally possible. Why can't Sendico do something that at least estimates how much the shipping will cost. As someone who can't write a single line of code, it doesn't seem that hard to do. At the very least, Sendico could estimate how much shipping would cost from the furthest point in Japan to their warehouse based off the weight that the seller gives. What's even more frustrating is the seller I bought from labeled the Super Famicom as two kilograms, which is more than double the weight of the actual console. And it was only the console. There was no cables, controllers, nothing included with that one. So the inland shipping ended up costing me more than the Sendico fee and the list price combined. If I had known it was going to cost me that much, I would not have bought it. And there was no way of backing out once I found how much the inland shipping cost. At least not that I could find. But I went this way because I wanted to experience it so you didn't have to. You're welcome. I'm going to table this rant for now so we can go over how to buy things. This was another pain point for me. You have to add funds to your wallet before you can purchase any items, which makes a little sense when I say it out loud, but why can't you just add multiple listings to a cart, like on eBay? What happens if the listing sells while I'm adding funds to my wallet? Am I just supposed to have funds in my wallet at all times? There is a way to request a refund from your wallet, but it doesn't seem like it would be automatic and you have to pay another transaction fee to get it back. Which, yes, you have to pay a transaction fee when you add funds to your wallet. At first I was annoyed, but it makes sense because they wouldn't make any money if they just ate the credit card fees. It just gets really annoying when the fees start adding up and up and up. The 500 yen transaction fee. Inland shipping that surprises you. Credit card fees. We haven't even mentioned shipping it from Japan to you. But once you have funds in your wallet, it is actually pretty self-explanatory to click on the buy button. I believe in you. After all of your packages arrive at Sendico's warehouse, you can consolidate them all into one big package to save on international shipping. While this is mostly another self-explanatory and easy process, I need to continue my rant from earlier. Because the seller weighed the Super Famicom at a whopping 2 kilograms, almost 5 pounds by the way, the entire package's estimation was over 7 kilograms. That's 15 and a half freedom units for my fellow Americans, which is just way too heavy. Like, I know the things in there do not weigh that much. And so I was given three shipping options with prices or a few more premium options that would be calculated after they packaged and reweighed everything. I knew FedEx would be the cheapest for me other than the 30 to 90 day surface option, so I took the gamble and hoped the FedEx price wouldn't break the bank. Now, I would hope that you could contact support and get a carrier change if you don't like the price or you think, ah, DHL might be a better option for me, but they really make you feel like you're stuck with this option no matter what the price ends up being. It was incredibly frustrating as a customer, but in the end, FedEx was the best option. The final weight was 5.3 kilograms, which was accurate. I weighed it after I got it in. <laughs> but what if I would have gone with the cheaper surface option initially and overpaid for shipping? That's not cool. So it would be cool if I could consolidate the package and then choose what shipping I want. Because I want the weight and dimensions to be accurate when I'm going to pay for a label that is at least $50. Oh, spoilers. And now would be the perfect time to mention that their shipping calculator is accurate if you have the exact weight and dimensions. However, the quick options on the left are wildly inaccurate and it genuinely blows my mind how wrong some of these are. Like one trading card is 0.2 kilograms with a six by 31 by 23 centimeter box. 
So you're telling me that one of these goes in a box that's two and a half by 12 by nine inches and weighs a half a pound? For context, that's a box the size of a ream of paper and weighs as much as a Game Boy. Really? Really? And when you click VG console, which I assume is video game console, which is fair to be generic, but 17 kilograms? Are you talking an arcade machine? Like a real arcade cabinet, 17 kilograms? I, I just don't trust this chart at all. Like I was starting to think maybe they just put like the wrong measurements in there, but I don't know what measurements these would match up with. Not any of my units. Anyways, I also swung for the 500 yen better packaging, making the shipping total about $50 US, which is very reasonable. And even though I paid for the shipping at the start of the Lunar New Year, I received everything a week from purchasing it. But in reality, it only took about three days from when the package actually started moving. But results will vary depending on where you live and what shipping option you choose. All around, with that part of the shipping, I was very impressed. So let's get to unboxing all of it. It's here. Also, hi, I'm standing for this. I'm standing for this one. It's quite the big package. So we're going super wide on everything. Also, I'm dressed appropriately for this unboxing. Let's open this. I can appreciate the fragile handle with care taped all over the box. This is some like over the top tape. Holy. Hopefully I didn't just slice my stuff, but I did pay 500 extra yen for that. The good packaging. That is some thick cardboard too. This, this is nice. The unboxing experience is nice so far. That is a lot of packaging. Okay, this feels very premium. I'm not gonna lie. That is a disgusting Super Game Boy, but I did buy it in four parts condition. I am a little upset that all the games are just loose. Not that upset. It would be nice if they were all individually wrapped, but at least that they took care of some of them. Thanks a million. You're welcome. This seems like this was original packaging. Okay, now here's my gripe. Okay, I need to look back at the pictures. I'll put the uh, the listing up on screen. But this is boxed, man. I, I paid extra for the protective packaging. I know it was only 500 yen, but come on. It would have just been nice to have all the boxed things, unbox them and flat lay them, unless there is like a seal on them, which this one doesn't have a seal. I feel like I've seen some of Elliot's videos where they're like that. Maybe there was a, a request section I could have asked for, I don't know. I'm assuming that some of this packaging is gonna be from like the individual sellers, but then I also don't know, I don't, I don't know if the person I bought this from packaged it like this or if Sendico repackaged it like this. Part of me thinks, yeah, they repackaged it, but then when there's a loose this, like did this come with no bubble wrap on? They're like, ah, it doesn't need bubble wrap. Or it did have bubble wrap and they're like, ah, it doesn't need bubble wrap. <laughs> I appreciate the Famicom disc game having a little extra protection though. There's a lot of tape, holy. Yee. Is this, oh, that is a case for it. Okay, cool. So technically this came CIB. These are protected and these are boxed. Okay, these look pretty decent. I'm glad I went with these because these look fine. These look good. I love this art style. If, if I could draw, I wish I could do this. There's a reason why I have a version of me that looks like it's from the Mushroom Kingdom on a shirt. I love that art style. Retroremaster.com. All right, now this one was like pristine. I do appreciate this, but this is way too much tape. You gotta leave me room to open it. <laughs> I don't think this is Sendico, especially this is like individual Mercari seller. It's got that written all over it. This is so cute. Dude, this is adorable. All the packaging in here is this, oh, it's so cute. <clears throat> I mean, I'm a man opening my tiny little package. Don't take that out of context, please. They kind of did this in like perfect unboxing order. <laughs> oh wow, I did not realize how many PSP games were in that lot. We also have a P 
PS2 game in here. I have no idea what this is. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll save this for last. That's a decent box with very padded stuff. Okay, we can get down low. Too lazy to get a chair. This is my 300 yen Super Nintendo. This doesn't feel very premium packaging. Oh, I'm gonna assume that this was from the seller, which is fine. The metal looks like it's seen better days, but so is the shell. I guess we'll see if it works, but that'll be another video. Get subscribed to the second channel for that. This will be really awkward if the second channel isn't up yet, but I'm making one. Or you're watching the extended cut of this on the second channel now. This is decently packed. <laughs> and this is my Famicom. And then we've got, oh, so this, okay. So if you want to play the disc system, I would imagine that this goes into down in the back here, but that will also be a neat fix. These were both the consoles, the home consoles I got were as is or junk. This will also be its own video later down the line. I'm excited to try these out, but we got one more thing to unbox. See, I can open that. This is it. The moment I have been waiting for. Make sure we're still recording. Where? Do people get these? Every time I buy something from Japan, it's wrapped in this like cellophane. What is this? I don't know. Is this just common courtesy or am I always buying from like actual sellers? I don't know. Woo! This is nice. I haven't even opened it yet. This is sick. We can uh, make sure we can verify that this is the real console by looking at this. This is our serial number and the serial numbers. Wait, what? The serial number is one off. What? Is that normal? Someone tell me that's normal. It's literally just one number off. I'm going to guess that's normal. That's weird. I mean, I don't really care if this isn't from the original box. I just care that this is beautiful. And it is. I'm happy. I'm very happy. I made an extended cut of the unboxing for the second channel, so go subscribe there. I'll have a link down below. Now, something I didn't notice until I started editing this was I never got this loose DS game, but I also didn't notice that there was a DS game when I bought it, so I'm not that torn up about it. I double checked and I still couldn't find it anywhere in the packaging. I know they're very small cartridges. It's just not there. And honestly, I don't really care. I didn't know that I bought it and it was like 50 cents. I just hope that this isn't a regular occurrence with Sendika. Other than that in my Metroid box not being wrapped, I was very impressed and satisfied with the packaging and shipping. But what was the grand total? Let's break it down. Because the yen to US dollar exchange rate changes many times every day, my calculations will not match the current market. Before any fees, I spent 56,060 yen on everything you just watched me unbox. That's approximately $389 US. Those were purchased from eight listings, and since Sendico has a 500 yen per listing fee, I spent about 4,000 yen or $26 on their fees. You also can't forget the 1440 yen or about $10 that I spent on inland shipping for the one Super Famicom. I'm never letting that go. Then the shipping from Japan to the best coast through FedEx cost me 6,975 yen, plus the optional 500 yen packing fee cost me about $50 US. And lastly, the credit card fees that cost me about $15 extra. So in total, I spent about $490 with about 100 of that being shipping and other fees, which trust me, sounds like a lot, but I think it's a fair price to pay. Hear me out. I feel like their 500 yen per listing fee is extremely fair. It's cheap and makes buying a lot of items in one listing even better. They have to charge transaction fees, otherwise they would make either no money or to make up for it, they would charge more for the per listing fee. And yeah, $50 is a lot for shipping, but it's completely fair for a 13 pound international package. That's just how expensive international shipping is, even if it's not that far. It all just sucks when you have an initial price and you watch the fees slowly pile up on you. I paid about 20% more than the list price, but even then, I still saved on most of the items I got compared to the US versions. I got a boxed Japanese copy of Metroid Zero Mission for the price I would get a US loose copy. Same thing with the other boxed games. I still saved money and got more on a lot of my items. So do I think Sendico is worth it? Yeah if you go in with the right mindset. I think their packaging is pretty dang good for the money. 
I just wish they told you the prices of inland shipping and gave better estimates on shipping prices in general before they take your money. It would also be nice to be able to purchase something without having to add funds to the wallet. Otherwise, if you go in expecting to pay about 20% more than list price and still find good deals, I think Sendico is worth it, as long as the yen stays inferior to the US dollar. So what do you guys think? Are you going to try Sendico? Have you already tried it? Let me know in those comments down below. Should I make a video like this for Baiyi, Zen Market, or any other Sendico competitors? I'm kind of curious now. Plus, I still need a virtual boy. I probably should have said this at the beginning, but I have never worked with or even talked to anybody at Sendico before. I still haven't. And I feel like it's pretty obvious that I didn't hold back on anything in this video. However, since I spent a lot of money on this video and put a lot of work into it, I will leave my referral link down below. You don't have to use it, but I would appreciate it if you did. But there are other ways to help me out too. So like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later, guys. Oh man, that took over an hour.